All right, FAQ number 57. Should Christians believe in conspiracy theories? I had to throw this one in. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 9. We're going to see a guy here who talked about a conspiracy. We'll see who this person is. Jeremiah 11, verse 9. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Okay? And of course, the most classic of all conspiracy passages, if you want to see the definition of what a conspiracy is, Psalm 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. That's saying, and then it goes down through. But the rulers are taking counsel together. That is a conspiracy. Okay, now if you are a King James Bible believer, you have to accept the fact that the word conspiracy is part of your Bible. Um, the word coincidence is not. Okay, and uh, I think the Lord probably knows everything that's going on out there in the world. And uh, so how could there ever be a coincidence? Let me show you another good uh, verse on the issue of a conspiracy. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. Now that's a conspiracy from the other way. Usually you think of conspiracy being a bad thing. No, actually if you're saved and you're doing the will of God and you're, you're following His word and, and being obedient to the Lord, uh, God will actually conspire to make everything happen in your life to work out for your good. That's a good conspiracy, you know. But uh, the, the, the whole issue is, again, you have these modern professing Christians and they will, they will laugh and mock you if you talk about conspiracy. But the fact of the matter is conspiracy is a Bible word. Uh, now, you know, I'd be careful about, you know, spending too much time in the conspiracy world. I mean, it can get very, very evil. Um, hearing about a lot of conspiracy theory type of stuff. You know, there's there's lines that I draw. I don't go too much into uh, the whole alien UFO thing and underground bases and stuff like that. Uh, I, I start kind of drawing a line at some of that stuff. Um, you know, are there underground facilities and things? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, that that is there, uh, definitely. Um, there are underground military bases. You know, they call them dumbs, which is kind of funny. You know, deep underground military base. Um, there are definitely those there. Uh, what's going on down in there? What's going on in the basement of the Mormon temple? There's like supposedly seven floors down in the basement, you know, going down into the earth. What goes on down there? And also, you know, some of that stuff, I'm just kind of like, okay, yeah, don't need to get into that. And, uh, you know, it's not that I don't believe it. It's just, I'm not going to spend, you know, time uh, studying some of that stuff. Um, but there are definitely conspiracies. There are... Um, numerous organizations of men, um, be it the Illuminati or the CFR or the Masons or the Jesuits or whatever. You get all these different organizations working together, taking counsel together against the Lord. Uh, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to build an army that they can hopefully try and defeat the Lord at the Battle of Armageddon. Of course, it's not going to happen, but uh, they're trying. And uh, they are conspiring against saved people. And uh, it's there. So somebody says uh, Christians shouldn't believe in conspiracy theories. They just simply don't know the Bible. 